Epa mi gente, blessed Thursday to all. So happy to be with you here today. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Word on my mind today after yesterday's experience at Toastmasters International is the word practice. A great friend of mine invited me out to watch a speech yesterday and their message was practice makes perfect. It brought to mind a great quote by Mahatma Gandhi that says an ounce of practice is worth more than a ton of preaching. And it's so true. I sat down last night and reflected on the word practice and I invite you to do the same today. Give yourself that inner peace and quiet as I've always said and just let your heart do the speaking for you. I know in my case, I thought back to all the things that I've tried. You know, I played the guitar. I did a season of baseball, a season of basketball, a couple seasons of soccer. But what I feel was that every time it got challenging, I would move on. You know, I thought practice was just showing up and playing or even showing up for that one hour a week when there was mandatory practice. But outside of that, I didn't do anything. So I thought to myself, and I invite you to ask yourself tonight, what are you currently practicing? You know, they say it takes 10,000 hours to master any one thing that you're after. I don't know how much of that is true. But what I do know is that anything that's been worthwhile for me to achieve, I've had to put practice into it. What are you practicing today? Are you practicing being a great parent, role model? Are you practicing being a great listener and a great friend? Are you practicing an instrument? Personally, I could say I've always kind of lacked that inner discipline and maybe that passion to practice something and progress in it. But today I read all these books and you know, arguably the best in their fields are Elon Musk, Mahatma Gandhi. Now LeBron James being the top point scorer in the NBA and they had to put in time for that. Sure, they might have been born with a sort of gift or something that had them follow that purpose. But without the countless hours of practice... We probably wouldn't know their names today. What have you practiced in your life? Sit down tonight. Think. Write. And I hope you enjoy the exercise as much as I have. You guys enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now.